I am not the ultimate fisherman, but I'm getting there. So in the springtime, I like to plant tomatoes. And if you've ever planted them before, you know that the biggest threat to your crop is the hornworm. A large green moth larvae with a horn-like tail. And once you have those on your plants, the only way you can get rid of them is to physically pluck them off one by one. I recently found some in my garden. I've already collected them, and so now I've got to know, can I catch fish on them? Today's setup is going to be a six foot ultralight with a 1000 size spinning reel, two pound monofilament line tied directly to a very small octopus hook. I believe this is a size four, but I, I threw that package away a long time ago. The best way I figured to present these caterpillars is going to be wacky rig style. So I'm just going to take the hook and I'm going to stick it right through him right in the middle. Stick it through just like that, right through the middle. And I'm just going to present it the same way you would a wacky rig Senko. Pick some kind of structure that fish could be sitting underneath. Toss it out and just let it sink naturally. Water is also very dirty, so can't guarantee this is going to be the best method, even if it was just a actual Senko. All right, first spot wasn't producing and I lost my hook. So we're gonna move up here to the actual pond of this area. I don't have the biggest of faith in this spot just because it gets hit an awful lot. That's why I like to go down there because most people don't want to wade through all the snaky grass and everything. So a lot less pressure down there. And there we go we chucked it off but we got one there we go little large mouth on the hornworm it is hot out here this took way more effort than it really should have okay he got back again i wish i knew where he flung the worm off at it wasn't in terrible shape i could have used it some more What the heck? Oh. 
Well, that's what I get for doing weird things. Well, we had one simple objective today, which was to try and catch a fish on a hornworm. We succeeded. It wasn't the biggest fish in the world, but the, it's more of a proof of concept. We'll definitely be revisiting this subject specifically to see now that we know it catches fish, can it catch big fish? But until then, y'all have a good one.